because we're not psychopaths, we live life in dark mode. Hey there YouTube, as you can tell by the title of this video, I received a solo miner by Brains, the company that makes crypto mining software and special control boards and what else do they make? Oh, that's right, they have their own mining pool. They sent me a thing and you can't get it yet, sorry. But really, this is a crypto miner from Brains the BMM 100 mini miner. So this is another one of those solo miners, kind of like the Bitax or the Marslander, Moonlander, Marslander. Moonlander's a script ASIC. Anyway, it's a Bitcoin ASIC that does one terahash at 40 watts. Yeah, I said it, 40 watts, not too bad. So let's just dive into it and check it out. It's in a box, let's take it out of the box. In the box, we have a US plug. It has its own power brick with a barrel connector. You can't see that. You don't need to see it. You know what a barrel connector looks like. And the miner itself. Let's take a look at this little black box. Oh, and it also comes with some feet. Anyway, let's look at this amazing black box. It's just a, just a black box. So on the front, it's got an LCD here that shows like an output. I'm sure it's gonna have the hash rate, all kinds of specs about what's going on in the machine, probably temps and stuff. And then taking a look at the back of it, it's got an ethernet port, an SD card port, IP report button, barrel connector for the power and a reset button, a couple of status lights and a Bitcoin symbol. Nice. So let's plug this thing in and figure out how to work it. There's a QR code on the back of the little strap that comes on the box. Let's see what that does. I think it says it goes to documentation. And here we are. This is the BMM 100 operating instruction manual. Let's figure out how we do this. Oh, you plug it in. Okay, that's probably a good place to start. It does only have wired ethernet. This model is upside down. This model has no wireless built in and no option to add to it by default. Oh, cool. So it'll show the IP address, the MAC address of the device, accessing the login page. So you probably from here, just go to the IP address on your local machine. In fact, let's do that now. It doesn't look like it's gonna be that difficult to set up or need any kind of weird proprietary software up front to connect to it or anything like some FPGAs have. So let's go ahead and plug this thing in and we'll get dialed into the IP address, see what happens from there. Here we are, this is my little solo mining um, setup. Everything here is solo mining, a cryptocurrency of some kind, except for that big stack of orange things back there. They're, they're, it's Chia, don't, don't mind the Chia. So here is the brains unit, nice and sleek little magic black box. So I plugged it in and let me show you what happens when I plugged it in. All right, so this is what pops up on, on the first uh, go. Got the brains logo and the model, what it is, powered by Brains OS Plus. That's pretty sweet. And there is a fan on the top here that's kind of spitting out air right now. It's not hot air because there's nothing happening. Boom, it gives me an IP address and the MAC address. And if you scan that QR code, it actually takes you to the IP address. And then if you let it sit too long, it goes to the time. So I probably need to log into the IP address of this device and finish getting it set up. So let's go ahead and try that now. And we're back, magic of YouTube. So we saw the IP address, it spits out on the little display on the front of the unit. Problem is, well, it's not really a problem, but the way I have this set up, I have a dedicated VLAN for mining equipment. So what I gotta do, is actually go to a VM that is on the same subnet and then I can log in from there. So I think it was 13. We got a good start. Username is root and leave password blank for your first login. First thing you have to do before you do anything else, and this is very, very important. You ready? We have to go to system and then we have to go to dark mode because we're not psychopaths. We live life in dark mode. All right, so from here, you can change your language, change your, change your time zone. We're gonna go ahead and set a new password as well while we're in here. You know what I could do also is make it full screen for everybody. Look at that, I'm solving the world's problems. One thing I notice is this is not hashing right away. Typically, when you get any kind of crypto miner, uh, an S19 by Bitmain or a KS0 by 
Ice River, it already has a wallet in place and it's set up on a pool. So you plug it in and it starts mining to their wallet. It's interesting that Brains doesn't have this set up this way by default. Not complaining, just an observation. Maybe they're not that greedy. All right, let's take a closer look here. So we've got our overall status, which shows nothing right now, right? Zero hash rate, power usage, tuner status. So it's probably got fine tuning built into it through the Brains OS. Fan monitor, figure hash boards. Oh, you can overclock your hash boards. Max of 2.67 tera hash. All right, let's get some shit going on because I want to try that out. What's a good mining pool we should use? Let's go to mining pool stats. And what am I gonna mine on this? So if we are at one terahash on Bitcoin, our solo chances are one in 4.2 million per day. I like this site better, solochance.org. We jump over to Bitcoin Cash, one terahash. One in 24,000 chance per day. All right, well, let's put it on Bitcoin Cash then. I say that because all but one of my BitX machines, my little Bitax boards, solo mining Bitcoin Cash, hoping for a payout because it's, they're what, 300 bucks a pop, 400 bucks a pop? What are they right now? What is it? $365 per BCH. So that, and it's a 3.14 payout per block as well. So that's about a thousand bucks, $1,100. So you're telling me there's a chance. All right, let's go ahead and do that. I need to find my Bitcoin Cash wallet address. Doesn't look like Brains has a Bitcoin cash pool. They do have a Bitcoin pool. And that's not really what I'm here to talk about is their pool and their OS or OS plus or anything like that. Really, they just sent me the uh, unit itself to play with and, and unbox and show to you guys. But so I was gonna jump on the Brains pool, but one, they don't have a solo pool, it looks like. Maybe that's something you guys over at Brains can look into implementing. You're offering a solo miner, but you don't have a solo pool or hear me out, implement the ability to run your own node from the mini miner itself. Let's find a solo node I'm comfortable using. Let's test the ping of solopool.org. All right, that's surprisingly quick. We'll go with that one. Let's come in here to configuration. We'll add a pool, pool URL. What else do I need? I need port 8002. So here we go. You can see in the installation manual, let's zoom that in a little bit because it's kind of hard to fucking see. They have a little spot on solo mining. You can operate the mini miner as a lottery Bitcoin solo miner, which was my intent the whole time. And I thought that was kind of how they're selling it. And it gives a couple of options and solo mining.io is one of them. And that's the pool that we're using. Under configuration, we would put the URL, probably I guess need to put stratum plus TCP colon slash slash. The user name is going to be wallet dot worker name. Let's see how that works out for us. All right, I added the pool. Look at that. Power usage went up, the watts went up, terahash is going up here. We are climbing, baby climbing in real time. Look at this, we're going at 34 watts with a maximum of 40. I guess that's what that means, 34 out of 40. We're already at 800 giga hash, almost 900 giga hash. Brains Mini Miner BMM100 has 0% dev fee. There we are, the Brains Mini Miner BMM100. One terahash at a little over 40 watts and a little under 70 degrees C. Pretty sweet. I like the footprint. It's not just a tiny little board. It's got a display on it and it's got a power brick and not just like one of those big fat plugs. Bitaxes have their place. They're cool machines as well. Let's come back over here to system. Mini miner screen. Haha. -ha. So these are our options here. We can do a clock. We can do the Bitcoin clock. Ooh, I'm a geek. I like mining geek. And we'll put it in 12 hour mode because why not? Enable night mode schedule so we could have it turn off at night. The screen itself. I wonder how much higher I can set the hash rate on this without getting into the danger zone. I'm thinking at least two terahash, maybe even a little bit more. I don't know. What do you think? Should we try to overclock this bad boy? But let's look at how you can get your hands on one of these right now. So on the brain site, if you went to home and then to store up here at the top, this is actually the BMM 101. I have the 100. This one is the 101. Let's take a little bit 
closer look at it. What is the big difference? So the BM101 has a couple of upgrades. One of them is it has a larger display. The one I have takes up a little more than half of the front of the case. This one takes up the whole front of the case, which is kind of cool. You can just add more stats on there. It also has Wi-Fi, and this one shows it has improved cooling for better performance and silent operations. As of right now, middle of October 2024, this unit is on pre-order for December. I know how we all feel about pre-orders, but Brains has been around a while. I'm pretty sure they're not gonna rug you for 300 bucks if you put in a pre-order now. As of right now, there are only 2,000 of these pre-order units available for the BMM 101. I said they're expected to sell out fast. Again, pre-orders are expected to, sh to ship or start arriving in December. If we were to add one of these to the cart, let's go to our cart, discount code geek, let's hit apply. Boom, that saved 30 bucks, so that's 10%. Nice, check that out. That's what I'm talking about. You're welcome. Link down in the description if you're interested in picking one of these up. Again, code geek will save you 10% if you're interested in that. Let me know what you think about this mini miner and compared to some of the other ones out there, what are your thoughts? Leave a comment down below. If you made it this far in the video and you learned something today, hit that thumbs up button, it really helps the channel. If this is the kind of content that you like to see, consider subscribing for more like it. And of course, thanks for watching.